Hey guys, I'm Florian and I've been traveling uh, the last 16 months of my life and right now I am in Thailand on the beautiful island of Koh Phangan as you can see here very very nice place yeah in this in this video I want to talk about uh, five things to do not in Thailand in Spain this time um, as I going through the countries that I've visited and the things that I've done and what can I recommend so number one of things to do in Spain go to the cats hostel and uh, visit the area of lava peace um, that's more for the younger people as the cats hostel is uh, targeted as quite a young uh, audience in my opinion um, it's very very beautiful I enjoyed the whole experience to stay there and uh, discovered the surrounding area of lava peace which is very very central in Madrid and very multicultural and very basic as well it's I think it was a very interesting place to stay and I can recommend to do that number two go to Granada and discover the Alhambra the Alhambra is a castle that dates back to the time when uh, Arabic uh, people the Moorish people uh, conquered the south of Spain and uh, yeah it's uh, it's a very Arabic style castle with very very beautiful gardens and a lot of beautiful uh, ornaments to see and it's definitely worth to go there but make sure uh, with my experience I can share uh, book it in advance up to one month in advance if possible so you uh, have no trouble and you can get good conditions number three discover the district of Albaicin in Granada. Albaicin is, uh, is equally like a Arabic influenced area in Granada with a lot of interesting small streets. It's almost like a maze and you can get lost there quite easily but uh, it's not too big so don't worry you're not, you're not gonna spend all your life there. Um, the, the hill surround, uh, next to it called San Miguel Alto provides a view over the whole city and is very beautiful with the little cave houses where that people carved into the rock to live there a bit of a hippie environment and a lot of beautiful flamenco possible to see there uh, four Discover Malaga and go to the castle Hebral Faro, which provides some really nice views over the city as well and has some secret areas to discover. I'm not going to tell more about it. Um, and the PM me if you want to know. And uh, the, the restaurant El Pimpi, which is just on foot of that uh, castle, and it, it gives you a very, very traditional uh, restaurant experience with a lot of uh, little garden, inside garden areas and, and uh, big barrels and beautiful decorations and just have a look, it's very beautiful. And finally, last but not least, number five. Number five is do a road trip uh, from Malaga to Ronda. Um, the road is really, really, really awesome and provides good views and in Ronda you have an amazing 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 beautiful bridge that looks like uh, it could be from the movie Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones series really really amazing and uh, and then keep going to Sahara de la Sierra which is a very very beautiful landscape and I'm really struggling here with the sun it's crazy uh, Sahara de la Sierra which is a very very beautiful landscape with different color schemes from green to red to gray to blue 
and uh, yeah you can do that easily all in one or two days so yeah these are my five points uh, and let me know in your comments what are your five uh, favorite things to do in Spain so I hope this video inspires you and helps you with your Spain travel and I'll keep you posted bye bye O chão não estava no chão. Eu pisava, mas não senti impacto algum. Passavam imagens, sons e sensações.